Greetings Grizzlies. Today we're going to talk about accessing vital library information, specifically how to access databases. I'm Mrs. Flores. Accessing school databases, you should understand that your first go-to for all your research needs and class projects should be the school databases first. Why? Because databases are paid subscriptions, they are sorted by subject, they're very easy to use, they're easy to cite so you can avoid plagiarism, and they're already sorted by subject, easily searchable, and they contain links, images, maps, audio, etc. And they're non-commercial, unlike Google or other search engines that are trying to sell you things and you would have to search through um, thousands of results. Now, to access the school's databases, you would need to access the district webpage. You'll need to go to centralunified.org. Once you're on centralunified.org, you will click on Departments. And the department that we want is the library, so we're going to scroll down on the left-hand side to Library Services. And then we're going to click the Destiny Card Catalog. Now the card catalog is where you would search for library materials as well, but in this case we are going to actually access the databases. So we're going to click on Central East High School Library and this will take us to the library homepage. There's a homepage and a catalog page. This is where you would search the library holdings, all the books in the library, Let's go back to the home screen, and this is how we're going to access our databases. You've got all sorts of things you can access on the home page, but today we're going to access the library web page. So if you look under Central Unified School District, I've titled it well for you. Awesome CHS Library Web Page. You're going to click on that. Now this is a joint project between Ms. Cheek, the teacher librarian at West Campus, and myself. Again, you want to stay on the left-hand side, and we're going to look for online databases and e-novels. Click that link. Once you have clicked there, you have a variety of categories that you can search. The databases themselves are listed in red with a direct link, and because they're subscription-based, you will have a username and a password. So make sure you note that before you click the link because um, you'll have to type in a username, a password, or just a password. You have access to East and West databases. Okay, and again, you also have some e-novels. So let's say you're reading Hamlet in class for Miss Cook's class, and you want to look at Hamlet on the screen and read it there because you forgot your book at home, you could do that as well, or Macbeth or Romeo and Juliet, etc. Um, but again, you need to look at the username and the password before you click the link. So let's say I'm doing a research paper on genocide, genocide of the Cambodian people. And I note here under Gale eBooks, there's actually an encyclopedia of genocide and crimes against humanity. I'm going to note that the password is remote and I'm going to click the link. So then I get to the Dale, Gale databases and I'm going to type in the password remote. Remote because you can remotely access these um, from off-campus, from Starbucks, anywhere you have an uh, internet connection. And then I'm going to click Proceed. I'm going to scroll down to that Encyclopedia of Genocide. And I can search by category. I've got everything alphabetically, or I can do a search in the search box. And let's say I'm going to put in Pol Pot. Pol Pot was one of the leader. Pol Pot regime. He was um, the leader against the Cambodian people during that genocide. So I'm going to click Pol Pot Regime and Search. And you can see that I've got all sorts of access to that information. OK, or I could search Khmer Rouge, the, peop uh, the military. All right, you've got all sorts of choices here. You can see victim numbers, prisons and mass graves. And once you click on one of these, um, it will take you to an article 
with even more information on whatever topic it is that you're researching. You have an option to listen to the article being read to you, so you can plug your earbuds in and listen and follow along on the screen. You can download it, print it, highlight and take notes, save it, even download the MP3 and listen to it on the bus on the way home. Um, and like I said, easy citation information in both MLA and APA format. You can cut and paste this citation into your Works Cited and you that will help you to cite your sources.